Okay, so this next problem, we have a bird with a mass of 6.8 kilos. Now, I'm just going to represent this bird basically as a blob. Moving with a speed of, uh, so let's actually kind of draw him like, like this. Let's move this over a bit. And let's say it's 9.6 meters per second. And the first bird is 6.8 kilos. Big bird. And so that's bird number one. Now there's a second bird that's uh, going to collide with the first one. And that guy is moving at a direction uh, perpendicular to the first one. So let's go kind of like this here, number two. And actually, the second bird is bigger. So I did a mistake in drawing that circle a little. It's a little too uh, small. Let's actually make it larger. OK, so this guy is going in this direction. And he is moving with a speed of 8.4 meters per second and the mass of the uh, second is 8.3 kilograms okay now at this point here they collide and they become one big giant mass so we will say uh, entanglement of birds and they move off with some velocity in some direction. Uh, question is, what direction do they move off in? And what's the speed of them after the collision? So basically, what we need to find is we need to find VC, the velocity of the couple of the two birds. OK? Um, Let's try and do this through conservation of momentum. OK? Uh, first of all, let's do conservation of momentum in the OK, let's, let's split this up into x and y. So we'll say this is x, and that's y. So if we do conservation in the x direction, okay, what we're going to get is we're, we're going to get initially we have m2, v2 moving in the x direction. And then finally, um, what we have is, now if I draw the momentum uh, vector of this guy, we can solve that basically by saying what's what's going on here. We're going to add the two momenta to get the final momenta, okay? Because momentum is conserved, so we could say we could draw it like this. We could go that's p1 plus p2 is equal to final. However, what's interesting here is the fact that we could either do this geometrically, which is which is fine. That's one way of doing it. And the other way of doing it is actually uh, co through components. Okay? And doing it through components is, is not that bad either. You have a choice of doing it either way. Now, in this case, Let's say, for example, that we say, OK, the total mass is the mass. And we'll say that this couple velocity is in the x direction. OK? And so now we can solve for VC. So let's just go M2 V2 over 
m1 plus m2 and so this is vcx now that's going to be 8.3 times 8.4 divided by uh, 6.8 plus 8.3 Okay, and that's going to give me eight point three, enter eight point four times six point eight, enter eight point three plus divided by, which gives me four point six. Okay, now um what i would like to do is now solve for vcy so vcy let's draw a line here and let's go initial momentum is equal to final momentum in the y direction so initially i have negative now again, this is negative. Why is it negative? Because now I, I just chose to do it this way. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to draw this going down as I've drawn my positive y as being up, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So that's m1 v1 is going to equal m1 plus m2 times vcy. And it's pretty much the same thing. You see why? And that's going to equal M1 was uh, 6.8 times a V1, which was, how much was V1 again? 9.6. divided by 6.8 plus 8.3 and that's going to give me by the way this was 4.62 and so 6.8 enter 9.6 times 6.8 enter 8.3 plus divided by and this one I'm getting 4.3 now now that I know the X and the Y by the way that's negative so now what I can say is that the final velocity is in the Y direction it's a uh, negative 4.32 and in the x direction it's a positive uh, 4.6 so therefore yeah 4.62 so therefore what does this give me if I add those head to tail I'm gonna get my final velocity and so all I have to do now is use Pythagoras so I'm gonna go 4.32 squared and then I'm going to go 4.62 squared. I'm going to add those. And then I'm going to take the square root. And I'm getting 6.32. And so, or 6.33. So my final velocity of the couple is 6.33. And the direction, this direction, would be uh, 4.62 and a 4.32. And so, therefore, theta is going to be the inverse tangent of 
4.32 divided by 4.62. So let's try that. 4.32, enter. 4.62 divided by, and now let's go inverse tangent. And the angle is 43 degrees. 43.1 degrees like this. And that's the end of the problem. Thanks for watching.